Welcome tiny adventurers to Grounded. Today we're looking at what you'll need to explore the pond and how to get to the underwater lab inside of it. With your current gear, there's a lot you can't do underwater. You can only hold your breath for about 30 to 40 seconds, and you can't use most of your weapons and items while underwater. What you need are completely brand new items made for that. To get started, your first trip to the pond should be to pick up some lily pad wax for research. They can be found underneath the lily pads. Try to grab a few while you're here. Watch out for the diving bell spiders though. Once you bring back some wax, you can now craft the Peblet Dagger. This will allow you to attack while underwater and allow you to harvest some eelgrass. While most items don't work underwater, some items like the Spider Fang Dagger and the Stinger Spear work fine. Keep that in mind if you already have those items. On your second trip, you need to harvest some eelgrass using your daggers to unlock more items. If you can, try to also find some water boatmen. These passive creatures don't fight back, and they drop water boatmen fins. If you can get at least four of them, you can craft fin flops, which are lower body armor items that help you swim faster. After you bring enough eelgrass back to base, you can craft two more items. The gill tube, which adds 40 more seconds of underwater breathing, and a couple slime lanterns, which allows you to light up the dark places while underwater. With all of this new equipment, we're ready to enter the pond lab. There are a few other useful items to craft for underwater exploration, but you need sunken bones in order to craft them. We'll get to those later. Just a quick tip. Remember to make sure you're bringing your acorn shovel with you and a decent amount of extra food. The acorn shovel is needed to loot sunken bones and koi fish scales. And after exploring the pond depths in the lab, I barely found any extra food and almost starved to death. So this is a warning for you in advance. One of the most common aggressive enemies in the pond are the diving bell spiders. They only have one attack, and with a shield they're pretty easy. Just don't get caught off guard by fighting all of them at once. The other thing to watch out for in the pond is the koi fish. Always keep your distance. If you get too close and it notices you, it might make you its dinner. With only 80 seconds of air, it won't be easy to dive deep into the depths. What you need to look for are bubbles that float from the ground to the surface. If you swim through them, your oxygen levels will reset. What you're looking for is a deep hole that leads into the lab. If you can keep swimming downwards and you see a lost T-Rex toy, you're on the right track. Around this area, you will find some sunken bones. You'll need at least five of them in a moment. There's also some koi fish scales which can be used for another tier 2 armor set. These are optional. The bubbles coming from the nearby wire will be your only source of oxygen for a little bit. What's coming up might be a little stressful, because you only have 80 seconds of air and you have to swim pretty deep to find the lab. Here we go. The first thing you need to do is catch the two currents coming out of the pillars to help you swim to your destination faster. You'll enter a large room with three fuses and a locked door on the roof. What you're looking for are some hallways with some raw science by the entrance. Follow these hallways and you'll eventually reach a room with breathable air. Right past the room with lots of loot. Hopefully, you have enough air by the time you reach this area to activate the biometric scanner. In this room, you have to reactivate the power grid control. It instructs you that you have to reset the three breakers outside. They look like those large switches you saw when you first came in here. If you explore the lab a little bit more, you'll encounter a new robot enemy called an Arker. These nasty little robots shoot lightning balls and have a short range lightning attack. Be careful. To make things easier, 
Your next task should be to craft the bubble helmet and worry about the breakers later. The bubble helmet will give you an additional 80 seconds of air underwater, which greatly helps with underwater exploration. You can find several sunken bones outside of the ground in the large room. Remember to always swim back to the lab if you're running low on air. As for the eelgrass strands and silk rope, the loot room has some for you. If your slime lantern is dying, there are a few lights you can use in there as well. Once you have everything you need, you can craft the bubble helmet. I feel a little less squishy now. Now to find the three breaker switches. The first one was easy. You saw it outside on the way here. Just swim up to it and use it. The second one is hidden in a small cave near the bottom on the opposite side of the lab with the breathable air. A diving bell spider or two might be hanging out in the area. Kill it to get access to the breaker. The third breaker is in a little bit of a maze. You'll need to follow those corridors to get to the breaker. The entrance is blocked by a fan that turns on and off. Wait for it to take a break so you can swim past it. Once you've turned the dial, swim back out quickly before you get lost. Now with all three breakers fixed, you can enter through the hatch at the top. The first thing you need to do in this lab is to get to that computer terminal. To do this, you need to dive through the nearby area that's flooded to get to the other side. Once you've interacted with it, more doors will unlock. But you still need to fix the biodome. Watch out! Back in the main room, four robots have been freed and will attack you on sight. If you follow the path through one of the new doors that's unlocked, you'll end up in the biodome area. A couple more robots are waiting for you there. In this room, simply make your way to the second floor, find Burgle's super chip, and open the dome. This completes the pond lab. Before we leave this area, there's one more thing we should get before we head out. Near the lab maze, where the third breaker was, is a small hidden cave. It's above and to the right, close to where one of the fans is making a current. Explore this cave until you find something called a pond key. Be careful, it's dark and there are several spiders inside.
Once you have the key, swim back to the area that had those two currents that helped push you towards the lab. At the bottom is a sunken treasure chest. Using the key to open it, you'll find one of Burgle's auxiliary chips that unlocks new recipes and a Mega Milk Molar. The new recipes unlocked include the Splat Burst, upgraded fin flops that help you swim faster, and an upgraded slime lantern that lasts longer. This pretty much sums up the pond lab, but there's one more thing. Now that you have access to Koi Scales and Sunken Bones, you can make a new set of Tier 2 armor, the Koi Scale armor set. This has a similar defense to the B armor set, which is slightly weaker than the Spider or Ladybug armor sets. But this armor set is great if you're good at parrying. It increases your parry window, and the set bonus from wearing all three will increase your damage after a successful parry. That's all I have for you today. Having to explore the right places while holding your breath can be a challenge, so good luck. Next time, we'll be checking out the Haze Lab and the infected insects within. I'll see you next time.